Two proposals our Project Drive Sober team have been following for more than a year. Up for a vote in the State Assembly today, both call for tougher penalties for repeat offenders. Mary Jo Ola in Madison with an update on where those bills stand at this hour. Of the two bills lawmakers will vote on today, one heads to the Senate, while the other is expected to move on to the governor's desk. Both zero in on drunk driving. By Tuesday afternoon, the Wisconsin Assembly voted unanimously to send Assembly Bill 379 to the Senate. That bill deals with first, second, and third offense intoxicated use of a vehicle. Sometimes a person has an OWI in another state, and it's not noticed here in Wisconsin, and they get another one in Wisconsin. Well, you can't charge the one in Wisconsin a second offense OWI until you find out about the first offense in another state. This simply would give prosecutors more time. Another bill we're following imposes an 18-month mandatory minimum for fifth and sixth OWI offenders. Judges would have the option to issue a lighter sentence with an explanation. Representative Ott is behind the bills. As I always say, my purpose isn't to see people pay higher fines or spend more time be behind bars. I want to see less drunk driving. I want to see safer roads. State Rep Evan Goyke says the bills send a message, but there's more to be done. What we haven't tackled is what the evidence suggests we need to do to really reduce drunk driving, and that's make it harder to get away with that crime. The evidence is really clear. Uh, deterring crime is best done when you increase apprehension not just increase the severity of the consequences of getting caught. A few months ago, the governor signed a law that beefs up penalties for homicides committed while driving drunk. One of the bills we're watching today could become the next law tackling drunk driving. At the State Capitol, Mary Joola, today's TMJ4.